But yeah. it looks like now we've got Pure Salt versus Bloom Forever. Bayo versus Donkey Kong. Tell me, do, like, tell me you've seen this matchup. I, you know, I've only. I don't think I don't think I've seen this matchup in I, I don't know since last since Smash Four maybe. Yeah, I mean there's not many DKs out there who are doing it, but Pure Salt is one of the people here. But it sound seems like he's getting hit with about what you would expect. Like the matchup, I think sort of has to go in a world where all right, Bayo is getting like these massive hits and able to convert it off really heavily. Yeah, you just combine ba Bayo's ability to combo any character with the big body of Donkey Kong. He's already used to being comboed by pretty much anyone. Uh, it's probably not going to be good losing neutral. Ooh, and right there, a pair. Oh, if you can sort of see right there, he was going for a down air, just got neutral win with the upbeat uh, from Pure Salt. He's not afraid to go for these options first. Oh, wow, the last hit of fair. Ooh, isn't afraid to punish him either. Optimel. Oh, trying to hit fair trains, not getting it. Okay, okay, we were slipping back to neutral, but the rollaway is getting punished by the ADK, and now Pure Salt's back off stage. Oh, good up B, honestly. Forces a punish, but I mean, he at least hit that center, but oh no. He's just been trying to get any sort of room this whole game, and Bloom's not giving it to him. Oh man, that was like two interactions to lose the stock there. Tries to go for a Hail Mary forward air. Yeah, he, I mean, we can see Pure Salt's got his bag of tricks to try to get out of situations as DK, but those hitboxes from Bayonetta are just insanely big, and DK. DK d likes to get hit by stuff. Yeah, I think part of it also is that Bloom is sort of very comfortable playing passively. Like, Bloom is not really forcing the issue. And because Pure Soul is sort of trying to do a few preemptive options there, like you saw right there, the jump down beat to get a meaningful hit. And Bloom's just like, eh, I'm going to ABK. But... Oh, able to mash out just in time. Eats a back air for his troubles, but a lot better than losing the whole stock. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, you always got to test it just to see if their match is there. But Bloom's like, no, nah, I got the match, bro. Let me out. <laughs> We're not doing any shenanigans. And Bloom's making it look like even if he lost that stock, not really going to matter. He's had, like, having a little trouble closing out this last stock, but uh, he's got not as much to go as Pure Salt does. Yeah, you know what? Okay, okay. He's got, he's got some rage. He's got some rage. He can make some magic happen. But up tilt here will probably be the stock, but again, with punish for ABK from the ledge is sort of making the magic happen for Bloom forever. Oh, and that's within. Gonna get him out. Gonna get him a punish on just a forward tilt. Okay. Yeah, this is just he's just gonna keep on the edge guard. Oh my god, yeah. perfect spacing. Yeah, you can tell sort of Bloom's how to hit in mind that he wanted, but he has no issues just sort of keep risking and repeating the situation. Yeah, it's. I mean, like I was saying, it. He clear. Pierce Salt clearly knows. Uh, how to maneuver around very carefully, very precisely to try to get out of these situations with any other character. But with Bayonetta, uh, the combination of the size of her hitbox and the size of DK's hurtbox uh, is looking like a little too much right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's definitely going to be something that he's going to need to adapt on. Like, I think he, he might just have to press, like, less buttons and, uh, like, be like, all right, I'm not allowed to have any fun here. We're going to wait until you do an ABK. Exactly. It's... Dash attacks right in. Probably going to be in. Oh, only 26. Yeah, 26. Hey, we're taking it. Okay, oh, okay. I mean, if you're only getting out of Bayo combo with 26 as any character, that's good. Yeah, that's like two Kazuya electrics whiff there. But third one seems to be hitting on the mark. Yeah, I, do, I do like the choice of uh, 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 Hollow Bastion here. Just because it gives him a lot more room to not die, which realistically is going to be the big thing. That's gonna be helping him, but he still get, eats a back air and loses his first stock for it. Yeah, fortunately not helping it enough. I mean, sweet spot back air from Bloom, good jump call out. And honestly, you can sort of see here that Pure Salt is trying to like look for, scouting for some like panic options, but Bloom is not really giving anything to it. Like, Pure Salt hasn't necessarily earned it. Um, and so he's not able to get as much as he might want from these interactions. Yeah, he, I mean, he's playing a little more cautiously, not doing as many bi uh, big hits and, like, nifty little tricks to try to get in. But, um, I mean, Bloom still got everything that he had the first game. He's okay. still got the combos, and he's still got the hitboxes and the spacing and the skill. 
next Aiden came from the ledge, getting out. Gersaw positioning to try and get a two frame. Oh my god. Oh, good attempted mix up there. I mean, I think the last situation, Bloom punishing him with a hit. And so Gersaw tries to play for doing the super armor there, but again, Bloom is just comfortable to wait and react and just take the situation. Oh wow. Ba uh, barely not killing there. Bloom's been showing that he's really good at mashing, but so Pure Salt maybe went a little too early. Okay, okay, we're punishing the ABKs from ledge. Do that again. I dare you. I double dog dare you. All right, but Bloom's not letting it happen, but Pure Salt's also saying, like, no, 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 no. There none we go. None of that, none of that. That's finally going to be the stock. Stock's on the board. We've got first blood for Pure Salt. Yeah, and DK definitely can take some early stocks, but it's going to be a matter of whether Bloom's going to. Uh, be too slippery to let him. Okay, Ariel Spinny Kong breaking the combo. Oh, good dashing grab from Bloom. Oh, is this going to be a duck combo? Okay, oh no. My. Just barely pushing him to the right instead of towards the blast zone. Uh, yeah, that... That was kind of insane. I'm definitely expecting the game to be over already. Yeah, I mean, for what it's worth, Pearsall is getting hit by a lot of these things. I, I don't necessarily think it's the advantage game because Pearsall is playing. Oh, but a beautiful back air. I mean, I mean, I think Pearsall is doing as good a job as you can getting out of these combos. It's just more so that Bloom, I think, is still just winning all the neutral interactions there. So even though he's like finding his ways out. Uh, and not dying instantly off of one Bayo combo, which is like what I think I would expect. <laughs> um, um, Bloom is still able to sort of follow up and take the reset and still get a, an advantage there. 